premium gas versus regular gas. Does it matter? Let's talk about it. Alright guys, here's a couple reasons why you don't need to be paying for premium, you can pay for regular gas. Alright guys, reason one for why uh, regular over premium gas, reason one, if your car does not require premium gas, there is no added benefits for your car's performance or longevity. It's as simple as that. You are putting good money in front of bad money for something you don't need. Premium costs about 50 cents more a gallon. The FTC notes in most cases using a higher octane gasoline than your owner's manual recommends offers absolutely no benefit. It won't make your car perform better, go faster, get better mileage, or run cleaner. I feel like that sums up all of that. If you don't need it, don't buy it. If it doesn't recommend it, don't do it. In this instance, all you're doing is taxing yourself for a philosophical reason. Reason two. If your car requires premium gas, in most cases it won't hurt your car or void your warranty to use regular gas. The reason your car asks for premium gas is that your vehicle has a high compression engine, unlike that car. Unless you hear knocking in your engine when using regular, in most cases there's no harm to your car by not using premium at all. Most common or most modern cars now have knock sensors and computers that will adjust the settings to maximize the performance of the grade that's in your engine currently. So if you go from premium to regular, it will slightly reduce uh, your fuel economy, uh, just a little bit of your performance. You're gonna have a little less giddy up and go, but for the most part, your car has a knock sensor. It's going to pre-program itself. When it detects a different grade, it's going to do that. If you're leasing would be a reason you might want to care in that instance on the off chance that your gas, if you're leasing, go with what's recommended. You're gonna give that car back. You don't own it. It's, it's one of these things where I recommend following uh, the lease, whatever that recommends. But do keep in mind towing trucks, big trucks, the, some things like that. You may need that extra power if you're towing weight, a boat, jet skis, some performance vehicle, uh, or if you're performance driving, hard acceleration, or driving in extreme heat. Any extreme heat or any combination of those three, uh, you may need that extra power if you have one of those high performance engines. So if you're going to be doing a test that is gonna require uh, the engine's kind of full capacity when it says it needs that, I would recommend it. Point three, cars with turbochargers or older or kind of heavier cars, something with a high performance engine, may require premium gasoline and should be used to prevent knocking. So older cars don't have those modern computers, they don't have the knock sensors, so you could throw the ratio of gas in your car out of whack and when you do, you could actually do damage to that car. The old car needed that compression for a certain reason and when that machine had to tune to a, a high level, if you don't have it, man, it could punish you. Now, tip four, if your car requires premium gas, use premium will allow you to achieve that car's top power. Remember that, uh, you will not achieve the advertised horsepower if the engine says it requires premium. Although many consumers will not notice a change in power, you won't notice between 600 and 550 horsepower generally. For the most part, you won't notice it you're gonna notice it in the towing, you're gonna to notice it at the hard acceleration, you're gonna notice it in the punishing heat. Those are gonna be the things you notice. So remember that. But by and large, you will not have that problem, so I wouldn't sweat it in that way. Uh, number five, the octane for premium gasoline varies from state to state. One state requires the rating of 92 to be considered premium, while another state may only require 90. One state may require a premium rating of 92, while another state may only require 90. Most gas stations offer three octane grades, an 87, a regular, a mid-grade, a usually 89 or 90, and then a premium, 92 or 93. Consult your pump, look at it, figure out which one you're going to buy and purchase that one. Um, but just keep in mind, from state to state it may be different, so when it's telling you it demands it, you may not even be buying the same high octane that you would in uh, Ohio or uh, Texas or someplace else. Now modern cars, most cars don't need it unless you're high performance. If you have one of those high performance cars, you know about it. If you have a high performance car, you know if you need premium gasoline. They tell you when you buy it, it's in the manual. If you have a Corvette, a Mustang, you have something with a high performance engine, they're probably telling you ahead of time. You buy a Camaro, it's probably telling you to buy premium. My Jeep Cherokee, probably don't need premium, you feel me? But here is something else to consider. Six automakers, BMW, GM, Honda, Toyota, Volkswagen, and Audi believe using 
top tier gasoline. They claim concentrations of detergent additive lowers the quality of gasoline and can leave deposits on engine parts which can affect engine performance, vehicle responsiveness, and increase emissions. So BMW, General Motors, Toyota, Honda uh, developed something called the top tier fuel standard which is what you have to do to qualify as a top tier retailer, meaning that your gasoline will do the least damage to a car. And I'm gonna throw that up here. You'd be surprised, I don't see Speedway on there. Uh, I don't see BP on there. I don't see, there's a bunch of uh, northern places. I do see Turkey Hill, which is Kroger. I do see Shell, but I don't see a lot of these around the northern states. So I'd be curious, you tell me what's in your area. Uh, and tell me if you can get the actual premium, the top tier gasoline that uh, they recommend. And as always, guys, if this was educational to you, do me a couple favors. One, like the video. It does help it move up the algorithm and every vote counts. Two, subscribe. If you find these helpful, I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these. I try to do two a week. It's been a rough week, but I'm still getting the second one out. Uh, so like, subscribe, and like I said, throw the comment. Let me know if you have these gas stations near you, or what gas station you use, and if they don't use uh, the best quality gas for you. And as always, I'll catch you later, y'all.